Hello YouTube. It's time. Let's do the Emily story. Okay. Because I got Emily spray it with water and I want to retain moisture before applying the film. You can't treat a glaze lily like a cactus. Oh, some eating ice cream. You should do that too. It's fucking warm today. To come out of his food expenses. Uh, I'll go talk to him. At this rate, he won't even be able to afford eating cacti for much longer. Hey, Tainari. Oh. <laughs> it's you two. It's been a while. What brings you to Port Ormos? We didn't have anything to do, and this place looked pretty lively, so we decided to stop by. But, uh, what's with all the flowers around here? Well, Port Ormos is currently organizing a flower exhibition featuring flowers and plants from all over Tevat. So I came to help out. The exhibition includes flowers from every corner of the world, each with their own unique properties and needs. With that in mind, the curator commissioned a flower pot from Kasharawar capable of retaining heat and moisture. Even so, an expert is still required to develop tailored transportation and care plans for each type of flower. Oh, and that expert is you, right? Not this time, no. I'm just here to help out. The expert in charge is someone else. Mr. Tainari! Sanjay! He, uh... He confused the poisonous bulbs with garlic shoots, and he ate them! Uh, never mind. Idiot. Forget about what I said about the food expenses. Apologies, Traveler, Paimon. Looks like I've got something to take care of. I'll be back in just a moment. Nice, now Emily will come. I know he's busy no matter where he is, huh? Too many people are... Careless about what they eat. Yeah, seems like it. Hey, don't look at Paimon like that. Paimon is super careful about what she eats. Well, looks like Tainari might be busy for a while. Let's take a look around the port in the meantime. Floral Depth Blood Dew. Okay. Allergy, nice. Huh? Pimo just like me. Something wrong? Yeah. I can completely relate, Pimo. Glaze lilies and Cecilia's? No wonder. It's the hoodie. It's, it's getting worse. Why? Look <laughs> you. Maybe you're sick. You should go find Tachnardi. She didn't what? Ah, a moment of your time, you two. If it's not too much trouble, perhaps you could try this incense. The hearty, I can't. You can talk normally now. Tire, I imagine you two aren't from Sumeru either. Seeing as we're both travelers from abroad, it's only right that we help each other out should the occasion arise. Blunt girls, oh, I can't, so man. It's always the same fucking type that gets me. Hmm, I suppose that's accurate. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Emily, a perfumer from Fontaine. Hi, my name is Paimon. Thank you so much for your help just now. Oh, and this is... 
the traveler, right? I've heard a lot about Damn. you from the Steambird. It's nice to finally put a face to the name. Yet a lot about you as well, although I didn't expect to run into you in Sumeru. What happened back there? Why did Paimon start sneezing all of a sudden? Hmm. Have you ever heard of hay fever? Hmm, yeah. But I don't know much about it. To put it it's simple, terrible. When inhaled, certain pollens can trigger abnormal physical reactions. Uh, but Paimon has seen these kinds of flowers before and nothing weird happened then. Well, we're all different. The factors that can trigger a reaction to certain stimuli vary by person. In isolation, the effects of certain pollens may seem minimal. But inhaling various types at once can trigger a more overt reaction. But there's no need to worry. Pollen allergies can be effectively mitigated with the use of medication. Yep. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> Traveler, Paimon, there you are. Is everything all right? I left in such a hurry, I forgot to warn you about all the pollen in the air. Well, yeah, thanks, idiot. Yeah, Pam was not having a good time, but Emily helped us out. Emily? Ah, what a coincidence. Looks like my worry was misplaced then. The Traveler and Paimon are in good hands. It was nothing, really. We happened to run into each other shortly after my arrival, and I offered them a bit of help, that's all. I'm more curious as to why you thought the Traveler and Paimon were in danger. Allergies are highly unpredictable. If you were concerned the pollen might trigger a reaction, that must mean something similar has happened in the past. Okay, she's somewhat smart. But we Remember dropped ourselves to met, fucking death. You fainted after Almost. Inhaling spirit Borneo. That was an alleged reaction. But Paimon was a victim this time. It's not really something you can make sense out of, Paimon. There are all kinds of allergies out there, caused by a variety of different factors. Some people are even allergic to almonds. It's not something you can generalize. I am exactly. allergic to everything. Thanks, life. Okay. Had an allergic reaction to everything that is a tree or was zoo. once a fucking tree, Whoa. allergic. Good thing Paimon is an allergic to everything Instantly death sentence. Almonds, not really, but nuts. So. That's probably even worse. But I usually just don't give a fuck. Hmm. In a manner of speaking, although you could say the patients I deal with are rather unusual. Yeah, they're mostly dead. In addition dead. to medicine, Emily is also very knowledgeable about botany. She's taught me a lot about the native flora around Fontaine. And that's where my expertise ends, I'm afraid. When it comes to breadth of knowledge, Tainari certainly comes out on top. A flower expert? Oh, Paimon's got it! You must be the expert Tainari mentioned, the one in charge of the exhibition! Uh, wrong again, I'm afraid. Wait, what? Well, I Wait. did come for the exhibition, but only to inquire about the Auguste variety. I'm not involved in any okay. official capacity. Oh, Paimon was sure she got it right this time. The Auguste variety. You have no idea what the fuck that's supposed it's to be. It's a kind of flower that was once popular in Fontaine. The perfume made from it also bears the same name, Auguste. Auguste, huh? That's not a name you hear often nowadays. In an ancient language, the word is said to mean sacred or noble. It's sometimes used as a name for people as well. Ah, huh, that reminds me. Are you familiar with a historical event in Fontaine known as Perfume Mania? Not really, no. Perfume Mania was an event that occurred in Fontaine nearly 20 years ago. Oh god. Story time. It all started when several merchants released their own lines of high-end expensive perfumes, marketing them as must-have luxury products, the very symbol of elegance itself. No one anticipated the absolute frenzy this would create on the market, causing the price of perfumes to skyrocket. Why the skyrocket? Shouldn't it what some do the saw opposite? As a status symbol, most saw it as a money-making opportunity. You could take advantage of the soaring price by hoarding them and reselling at even higher margins. 
the value of these products became I mean, the, so inflated. They must be popular to be bought, otherwise the price would go up. This resulted in countless disputes and scams. But at the end of the day, perfume is just perfume. The market value greatly exceeded the intrinsic worth of the product, creating an economic bubble that was never going to last. Didn't just go Luckily, up. the Palais Mermonia recognized the danger and intervened before the craze could truly spread. Many profiteers and scammers were thrown in jail as a result. In the end, only a few wealthy families were affected when the bubble popped. What does all this have to do with that goose you mentioned earlier? Well, during the craze, the most popular perfume was none other than a goose. The demand far exceeded the supply, to the point where it once sold for 10 million mora a bottle. What? 10 million? Then what about you? Oh my god, Paimon, fucking gold goblin. After the mania ended, most perfumes returned to a normal price. Auguste was the only exception. Its namesake, the flower used to create it, went extinct. As a result, no new bottles of Auguste have been made. And the value of the perfume remains exceedingly ah, high. Yeah, that makes sense. Unless it's a lie. Indeed. The Auguste flower was not a natural variety, you see. It was specially cultivated for use in perfume making. Oh, when the bubble popped, all the flower beds used for its cultivation were destroyed in a fire. The variety has never been seen since. But didn't you say you came to the exhibition to look for it? Ah, yes. I came to investigate a certain rumor that the Auguste flower has reappeared in Sumeru. It's causing quite the stir in the Fontaine perfume market. Mm. Traveler, we should help Emily look for it. Let's see. There's no way it's that easy to find. I have to agree. Probably. Emily wrote me to ask if I could look into the rumor, but the forest rangers haven't received any reports of new plant species recently. Even if I can locate the flower, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed, Paimon. I don't have any Grand Mora making endeavors planned. <laughs> Divine, noble, one of a kind. All beautiful sentiments, to be sure. But to me, they overshadow the very essence of the product. When it comes to perfume, I want people to forget the price and the prestige and focus on the beauty of the fragrance itself. Wow, so noble. I'm a shocked. And everybody's a gold course, goblin, apparently. There's also a more practical reason. In recent years, low grade counterfeit versions of Auguste have been popping up on the Fontaine perfume market. Every so often, someone will claim to have recreated the unique scent of Auguste, and the rumor mill will start comparing the counterfeits to my own work. Okay, that's more like the reason Paimon had in mind. Ever since that rumor started, Three new perfumes claiming to be made from the Auguste flower have appeared on the market. If I can dispel the fanaticism surrounding Auguste, even just by proving the rumor to be false, Fontaine's perfume market can finally start to get back to normal. Then I'll be free from all the stories and added meaning and just focus on making what I like. That makes sense. By the way, even if it's not for Mora, we could still help you out. Oh, I would, of course, be grateful for your help, but I wouldn't want to trouble you. Well, you said it yourself. We're both travelers from abroad, so it's only right that we help each other out. She's a cute smile. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Then you have my thanks. Based on the information I have so far, it's unclear. Don't go with glasses. It's Jova, man. Just stack everything up against me. Oh, you know. Talk to him. He was there all those years ago, after all. Maybe he'll know something. Huh. I was just about to pay him a visit at the hotel. Edgar? Who's that? Edgar Wallace? Probably not. The person you've been trying to guess this whole time. The flower expert in charge of the exhibition. He's also the most respected and experienced perfumer in the area. Back when he was still working in Fontaine, Auguste was his creation. I should also mention, he was my teacher. The one who taught me the basics oh, of perfumery okay. when I apprenticed in Sumeru. So this guy was a famous perfumer in Fontaine, but then he came to Sumeru to 
teach people from Fontaine? It sounds confusing. It's a long story. If you're interested, we can talk more about it when we see him. He should be staying near the hotel. Where's my elevator? Ah, the thing fell through. Unlucky. So I guess it's really stationary. Oh, look at all the flowers! Oh God, Paimon, you're about to die again. The exhibitor paid a large sum to rent out the hotel and surrounding buildings. They're being used as temporary storage facilities and lodging for exhibition personnel. Yeah, what if guests come early? They won't have anywhere to stay. Also, renting out this big of a hotel, how are they going to make that more of that? It's not that big. It's like two rooms, one here, one there, maybe. Are you dumb? Hey, if you're lucky, on top of there is another one. Seems like they might have more to burn. Nah, no, dude, you just... Don't understand, man. It's been so long. I almost didn't recognize you, Edgar. Well, you and your brother haven't changed a bit. Oh, yeah. Look, all this catching up is nice and all, but let's get down to business. We need to talk about Kyria. Is he? Oh, hold on. We have guests. Oh, my God. It's nice to see you again, Master. Emily? Is that you? <laughs> oh, it's been years. Look at you. You're all grown up. I've heard you've become quite the famous perfumer in Fontaine. I mean, she's a hottie. It would seem the student has surpassed the master. I gotta say. Oh, well, it's all thanks to your mentorship. Ah, hardly, hardly. I taught you the basics. Hearing you call me master, well, I'm not sure I'm deserving of that title. I've taught many students here in Sumeru over the years, but I've yet to see one turn out quite as accomplished as you. You're the only one who can take credit for that success. And who are these two? I don't recall you mentioning them in your letter. Ah, they're my new friends, the Traveler and Paimon. I think I should switch to headphones again. Emily's but at least friends. I can now. Well, I could then, all the pleasure bit. is all mine. And these two gentlemen? Are they friends of yours, Master? <laughs> <laughs> of course. We're perfume merchants from Fontaine. I'm Oud, and this here is my younger Oud. brother, Blaze. Trash Edgar name. and the two of us are old friends. <laughs> Isn't that right, gentlemen? <laughs> uh, yes. Merchant Brothers? You must be here to look for the August flower then. Huh? Oh? <laughs> well, what respectable perfume merchant hasn't heard of a goose? Anyone in the business would be interested in the rumors. I'm guessing you're here for the same reason, Emily. Uh, we were just about to get into it, so you three might as well join in. I think that I commissioned a big few boy just got to do a few brain for damage cells they now searched from all over sentence. Sumeru, but there were no sightings of the August flower. That being said, there are people in Port Ormos who claim to have smelled a unique fragrance on the streets. Definitely floral, but still distinct. Some of them were merchants who lived in Fontaine 20 years ago. According to them, the fragrance smelled exactly like the August they remember from back then. A one-of-a-kind, divine, and noble scent. Hmm. Maybe someone around here just happens to have a bottle of August from back then. That's what I'm thinking too, kind of? No, I don't think so. I doubt that's the case. Even if someone had a bottle that was never opened, the fragrance of the perfume would have changed over time. Very few perfumes can go decades without a change in scent. A goose is even more prone to that kind of shift. 
Only a few bottles still exist in Fontaine, and their scent would have completely degraded by now. Although, could there be a flower out there with a similar fragrance? Or an accord with the same face notes? Impossible! If a goose were that easy to replicate, it would never have sold for such a high price all those years ago. The goose flower is back. It has to be. You're delusional. Technically speaking, the scent wouldn't be impossible to imitate. Well, let's table that question for now. Uh, Edgar, did any of those people mention where the scent was coming from? No. By the time they realized they had smelled something, the scent was already gone. If I hadn't asked about it, they probably wouldn't have given the experience a second thought. Compared to things we see and hear, smells can be much easier to overlook. Hmm. That is true. It almost sounds like someone wearing the Auguste fragrance past them on the street. Wait, are you saying... Oh, just thinking out loud. <laughs> don't pay me any mind. We don't have much to go off of right now, but sauce. we can't rule out that possibility. I'll send some more people to investigate. You all traveled so far to be here. Why don't you rest in the hotel for a bit? Uh, Oud, Blaze, this is the key to your room. Oud. Woo, you've got the keys to the rooms? Do we get free lodging, too? Do we get free lodging, too? Uh, my apologies. All the rooms in the hotel are accounted for, I'm afraid. Most are being used for storage ahead of the exhibition, you see. I managed to tidy up one of the rooms for these two at the last minute. But by the time Emily wrote to me, there was no more space left for her to stay. Damn, oh, time to camp. we just showed up out of the blue. Guess that means there's definitely no space for us. Uh... I should have been more considerate. Here I am with an entire hotel at my disposal and no place to offer you to stay. Even after you made the trip all the way to Sumeru. Don't worry, Master. I can sleep on the boat tonight. Or I could even camp in the wild. It would give me the opportunity to collect some plant specimens while I'm here in Sumeru. I'll come with you. Huh, even better. Although, would it be possible for me to leave some of my luggage here? It would be rather cumbersome to take it camping. It shouldn't take up too much space. Well, uh, about that. <laughs> of course, no trouble at all. My brother and I will keep an eye on them for you, uh, as long as you don't mind, mademoiselle. mademoiselle. All right, then. Uh, Oud, why don't you take Emily inside and find a suitable place for her luggage? I'll prepare some refreshments and join you in a bit. Yeah, these bitch saucers. Let's kill them all. Erase all threats. Extra! Extra. I think it's super weird how they act since the beginning and the voice of Oud is like a red flag by itself. Whoa, the smell of flowers is so strong. Didn't Edgar say he tidied up around here? There's still so many flowers. Pilot took a peek through the window earlier and his house was packed with flowers. Looks like this exhibition is going to be huge. Do all perfumers have houses filled with flowers? Probably not. No, that's a florist thing. <laughs> we work closely with the essential oils of various plants. But to maintain a sharp sense of smell, most perfumers prefer to keep their homes free of strong odors. Oh, guess there's just too much to store for the exhibition then. What's behind this door? Oh, this room seems to be a connected suite. And my brother will be staying on the other side of the suite. Blaze, while you're out, why don't you bring our luggage over as well? <laughs> okay. He has da, brain da, da, da. damage. Hmm. <clears throat> Blaze. Oh, uh, ah, yes, of course. Da, 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 da. All right then. Bro, uh, where can we find your luggage, Mademoiselle? Blaze will go fetch it for you. 
it's still at the port. In addition to some daily necessities, there's also a case of amber wine that I brought back from Fontaine. Could I trouble you to bring that back as well? It would be the perfect way to repay you for your hospitality. <laughs> How generous. I should thank you on my brother's behalf. You've stumbled upon his weakness. He's aloof about most things, but alcohol is his one true love. Is that so? Yeah, then he should go to Moonstead. Mr. Ood, Mr. Blaze, thanks for... Hey! What are you doing? That's Master's voice. Quick, let's see. Yo, what up? And before... Pookie catch, because... Let... It's just an old man. Let, let him get hurt a little bit. Do we have a kidnapping? Okay, apparently not. I guess that Edgar is a fake Edgar or some shit at this point. Edgar! No mind. Master! Hey, Edgar! Are you alright? Can you hear me? No, he's deaf. Who did this? Kyria. August. Ugh. He's dead. Kyria. Hey, Edgar? Edgar! No, don't shake him. He's injured. Just leave him to me. You two can... Really investigate the scene. Oh, thank you. You have elemental sight. We're good. That strange smell around here. Is it coming from this bottle? Only a small amount of liquid is left inside the bottle. And streaks of residue can be seen on both the mouth and side of the vessel. It seems like someone forcibly put out whatever was inside the bottle. Okay. I have a feeling they put the bottle oh, is. Really? You think so? Mm, I don't know. Do you think whoever did this was hiding in the flowers before they attacked Edgar? Not really. Then the f footprints and flower beds, no surprise. Unless the culprit was your size. Hmm, true. Take a smell. I checked. It doesn't look like anyone passed through here. Oh, but that's impossible. It's not like that kid can just grow some wings and fly away. That kid? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, the culprit, I mean. It's not like the culprit could have just disappeared into thin air. Interesting. But the only clue we found was that bottle. The most important thing we can do now is focus our efforts on treating Master. Can you help me move him inside? Sure can do. So, how's he doing? He's dead. When I administered emergency he's treatment, no I discovered a residue in his nose and mouth. Master was most likely forced to ingest a certain liquid. He's still unconscious, and inducing vomiting could obstruct his airways. We'll have to look into other clues for now. Ah, yes. The scent is the same, but the chemical composition is still unclear. 
will have to do further tests to determine if it's the same liquid and how toxic it is to the human body. But first, I do believe there are two people who could shed some light on the situation. Yeah. Mr. Sylvain, Mr. Lucian. Wait, she knows oh, the last wait, name. You know hey! <clears throat> Were you talking to us, mademoiselle? I'm afraid we'd never heard of those names before. <laughs> Hmm. Before arriving in Sumeru, I asked a friend from the Special Patrol to look into the creators of Auguste. There were four people in total. The perfumer, Edgar, the one thrust into the limelight, and three others. A researcher from Sumeru responsible for cultivating the Auguste flower, and two merchant brothers responsible for promoting the product on the market. The two brothers capitalize on the mythos surrounding Auguste, their actions lured in numerous speculators and profiteers, inflating the price of Auguste even further. In the end, they were sent to the Fortress of Meripede for falsifying their accounts and destabilizing oh, the market. Okay. If you do the math, they should be out of prison by now. Huh. And what does that have to do with us? There are countless merchant families in Fontaine. Uh, you gonna accuse them of being criminals too? Every time mm, your yes. brother called you Blaze, it took you several seconds to respond. But when I called you Lucian just now, the name registered immediately. I... Ah, oh, Miss Emily. Out of respect for your position as a famous perfumer in Fontaine, I'm inclined to believe that was simply a poor attempt at humor. You have a bright future ahead of you. You wouldn't want to develop a reputation as someone who throws around false accusations, especially among merchant circles. Hmm. Oh. You claim to be regular okay. perfume merchants, and yet when I brought up amber wine, you took it to be alcohol. <laughs> what? Amber wine is a perfume I created several years ago. It wasn't particularly renowned, but I'm certain any respectable perfume merchant in Fontaine would know of it. Unless, until recently, they were living somewhere completely cut off from the perfume world. Hmm, somewhere like the Fortress of Meripede, perhaps? Emily, you little! <laughs> I have a sword. Don't misunderstand, Mr. Sylvain. I don't bring this up to criticize you. No matter what happened all those years ago, the court has already passed its judgment. But Master's life is in danger. We need to learn whatever we can about the person who has done this. If Master's attack had something to do with a goose, I would imagine the two of you might also be in danger. So I'd like to trouble you for some information, if I may. Tell me about Kyria. Fine. Big or get stabbed. As you, you wish. have the choice, man. Sylvain! Lucian, if this will help us find Kyria, then it will be all worth it. Besides, we've already told most of the stuff to the Maison Orally, anyway. You were right, Miss Emily. There were four of us at the beginning myself, Lucian, Edgar, <laughs> and the researcher from Sumeru in charge of flower cultivation. Vijava. Sometime down the road, the Mara Chaussee Phantom came knocking, saddled us with a list of accusations, and started looking into our books. Oh, they did their meddling, and my brother Edgar and I were forced to serve time in the fortress as a result. Sounds like he's still upset about that. Wait, then how did Edgar end up in Sumeru? Master was convicted as an accomplice, so he only had to serve a few years. He decided to move to Sumeru so that he could put those events behind him. Still, Master was depressed for a long time after that. He stopped making new perfumes and focused on introducing students to the craft instead. That's how I met him. My parents had to relocate to Sumeru for work when I was a child, so I had the chance to study under him for a little while. But we can talk about that some other time. I want to hear more about this researcher, Vijava. Like us, Vijava was also staring down an investigation from the Mara Chaussee Phantom. But before the Phantom showed up at her door, she set all the flower beds on fire, along with much of the Mora we managed to earn. 
All the august flowers, everything we worked to create, was reduced to nothing but a pile of ash. But destroying all that evidence, wouldn't that make things worse for her? Unless it's not evidence. It didn't matter at that point, because she died in the fire as well. What? Huh? <sighs> Sounds like you did an investigation of your own. Why even ask us if you knew all of this already? The name wasn't mentioned in any of the files I reviewed either. But you two seem quite familiar with him. It's probably the brother of her or some shit. That's where the kid... Uh, Kyria was Vijava's younger brother. He was just a clueless kid back then. Somewhere in his teens, I think. He helped his sister with her work sometimes, but that was pretty much it. He didn't have any idea what we were doing. Vijava kept him close most of the time. The three of us were probably the only ones who even knew she had a brother. After our operation was compromised, he disappeared. There were no signs of him until recently, when people started saying the August Flower had reappeared in Sumeru. So, you think Kyria took something with him back then? Something that allowed him to reproduce the August Flower? <sighs> Vijava doted on the kid like you wouldn't believe. She even told us to give her cut to her brother if anything happened to her. If she left something behind before she died, believe me, Kiri is the one that has it. And judging by the liquid in that bottle, the August flower wasn't the only thing he reproduced. He managed to replicate the perfume itself. So the liquid Edgar was forced to ingest really was August. Wait, does that mean August is poison? <clears throat> Poison? No, no. Of course not. No perfume is meant to be ingested. Even small amounts can be dangerous, let alone ingesting a whole bottle at once. I mean, if, if, if it tastes well. If a ghost could be considered a poison, why smell good we if wouldn't have even tastes sold bad. half it makes a bottle sense. back then. Edgar fell unconscious because Kyria forced him to drink perfume. It just happened to be a ghost. He probably thought we had something to do with his sister's death. But because to you tell do? you the truth, I have no idea why she did all that. We're not looking for Kyria because that we have an out for him. The we first just wanted to see how on he was doing. Even and if possible, work together to bring back a ghost. We only went to prison for a bit of fraud and market manipulation. It had nothing to do with the product itself. As long as we keep things honest this time around, bringing the product back to market would almost be like honoring his sister's memory. So that's why you never mentioned Kyria well, during your interrogation? Yes, exactly. We were just looking out for the kid. Anyway, that's all we know. If you're looking for information on what's in a goose or what to do if you ingest it, there are only two people to ask. Edgar, or Kyria himself. Well, at least we're able to say for certain that the substance Edgar ingested was in fact a I'm goose. That gives man. us a direction for further testing. <sighs> well then, I'd say that was a very enlightening discussion. Ah, well, glad to hear it. Lucian, let's head back to the room and rest a bit. With everything that's happened... There are things that need reconsidering. Yes, of course. Beheading the little shit, I guess, is one mm. of the things. Is there hiding something? Oh, you think so too? Hmm. That does seem to be the case. Pity we don't have more evidence. But based on Sylvain's tone of voice just now, I suspect further questioning will only result in more made up answers. The way you exposed them like that, just based on a hunch, that was genius! I really just have a Fuma who looks after people in your spare time. Oh, right! Earlier you said you were only sort of a doctor, and that your patients were... unusual. Oh yes, 
That's because most of the patients I encounter are already dead. So and you're dead. a forensic doctor? Close. I'm actually a forensic cleaner. Once the forensic team and the Mara Chasse Phantom are done collecting evidence from the scene, I'm in charge of clearing away the final traces my patients leave on the world. In fact, my God. with just a small alteration to the formula, the same tincture used as the base of perfume can also be made into a cleaning agent. Basically, there are two sides to forensics. Those who collect evidence to expose the truth, and those who clean up the smells, blood stains, and other substances left behind at the scene. I've learned a lot in my line of work, and I've witnessed a lot of death. But this time, we may still save the patient. We may Actually, still traveler, save the patient. Could I trouble you to report back to Tainari and the officers at Port Armos? We should update them on the situation. Sounds I'll like stay a plan. here and continue to look after Master. Now that we have a sample of Auguste, I'm hoping further analysis won't be too difficult. Master looks a lot older than when I last saw him. I just hope he can hold on. Okay, good. From here on, I will um, probably take a break. Anyways, um, time to do um, the second part of Emily's story. Whoa, why the rush? Did something happen? They don't have from him like you. What? Edgar was attacked? He's the most famous perfumer in the region. Someone who's helped countless people around Port Ormos. How could this happen? I mean, it was an hour ago, Sheriff, so I don't know. Maybe the fix is my own. reports of a suspicious individual fleeing the through did. the bazaar? No, but we've got eyes all over the area. I mean, you can check the board, but curious. I could say just check the board and you will see it, but forces. We won't let it's get not away. automatically published. Do you have a plan? Hmm. I'm sure the sheriff can handle things over at the scene, and I doubt Emily needs my help looking after Mr. Edgar. Uh, but she said she's not a real doctor. Then she was far too modest. She may not be a doctor by trade, but she has a deeper understanding of human anatomy and pharmacology than most scholars from the Amorta Darshan. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention the fact that Mr. Edgar's condition is related to perfume. Emily is certainly in the best position to help him. As for me, I'll head to the Good academia job, Mona. and see what no, I can about Java and Kiria. Oh, that's right! Vijava was supposed to be a scholar from Sumeru. Do you recognize the name? From Emily's letter, certainly, but that was the first time I'd heard of it. The Academia produces a lot of scholars, and there are plenty of graduates who choose to pursue a career outside their darshan. I didn't have time to look into it earlier, but now it seems like Vijava's past... Never clicking again? To get oh, the bottom of what happened don't worry. Edgar. Others will do for I you. I have friends in Sumeru City that can help me investigate. With any luck, but they do the forbidden combo. Share by tomorrow. I'll leave you and Emily the forbidden to combo being Lisa in into the long fart. Mm. Mm, indeed. Seven to eleven next day. Okay. But it was weird. Today, wonder if Tainari's discovered anything. But Head to the looking vicinity. good with Emily's master it's yesterday. Always up there, man. It's so weird. We should check on things at the hotel first. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, there it is. Did I jump scare you? No, you didn't jump scare me. Coward. I'm not a coward. Your weakness is pathetic. No, I don't have a weakness. What are you talking about, man? I never had a weakness in my life. I'm flawless. longer in critical condition thankfully he's still very weak by the way the since you don't have pokeballs anymore you should type my chemical analysis or of a goose also scroll down i guess it doesn't depend it's certainly um, questions. yeah you need pokeballs if you don't have pokeballs you can't catch stuff okay so you should do this okay x my mark pokey shop and then pokey ball and then ideally 10 or 20 or some shit because then you get bonus items okay i will do it with 20 because i need a few of them still probably but yeah keep in mind for me the shit is bugged so if you type 10 that means you get 20. if you can't get 20 you still get 10 okay if you have the money for it and if you don't know how much money you have do pokey pass like that then it tells you how much money you have. I'm rich as fuck. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was able to identify the components that give the substance its fragrance. So you could buy but five of them at maximum right now. I also noticed trace of elemental energy in the sample. Elemental energy? Hmm. Hard to say. It was such a minute amount, proportionally speaking. You have to or type the item first. a single drop of perfume into the ocean. Like Poké Shop, Poké Ball, the and then that number. In recent years, to even right. detect the traces present in the sample, unless you were abnormally sensitive to elemental energy, I doubt it would have any. Not on Roy, dude. Even if you use the product every day. If you don't know how it years, works, I can explain stuff to you. As for whether Master's condition was caused by the elemental energy present in the sample or some other component of the perfume, to get money, to you have to say. type in the chat oh, that of any, anybody that has yeah, this um, shit Maybe enabled. Take a look. Every 15 minutes. Hmm. I received a when the shit resets, I have no fucking idea. Haven't heard Being since. active in chat basically gives you money. He was looking into some information at the academia. Oh, Pina thought he might have stopped by to see you first. Um, excuse me? Is Miss Emily here? Oh my god, it's Collie. Oh, perfect! Familiar faces! Traveler, Paimon, you're here too! Call him my baby. I don't know, man. Call it. Oh, of course. Pinari's apprentice. He's mentioned you many times. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. And please, no need for formalities. Emily is just fine. Oh, uh, uh okay. Nice to meet you too, Miss, uh, <laughs> Emily. Did Tainari send you here, Kale? Yep. Master and the others went through decades worth of records last night and still haven't had a chance to rest. I'm fast on my feet, so it only made sense for me to come and give you an update. Anyway, based on what they've reviewed so far, they believe there's no indication that a researcher by the name of Vichava ever passed through the academia. Master considered that possibility as well, but the name is a pure to criminal. Master nah, she's tried a smooth to track criminal. down people with a similar research direction or background, but also couldn't find a match. How is that possible? Maybe her identity as a research from Sumeru was it's a It's starting to seem very likely. If we want to figure out her true identity, I'm afraid another conversation with those two merchants might be our only... Hey! L Lucian! It's Sylvain! Wait, you don't think Kirio came back, do you? That I don't even impossible. think Kirio fucking existed. If someone came point. in or out of the hotel just now, we would have the seen The hidden them. body? What hidden body? If it's about the story a spoiler, then don't spoil, okay? Obviously. It's locked. Time to break it open.
There's no one here. Okay, that's a good idea. That's the big voice. Lucian, Lucian, come on, wake up. <laughs> Is he going to be okay? Emily, Emily, my brother, he's gonna be okay, right? He, he's, he's just unconscious, like what happened to Edgar. I'm sorry, Mr. Sylvain, but we were too late this time. Damn, motherfucker dead. Oh, Holy no, shit, man. that's not, that's not possible. Traveler, Kale, Mr. Sylvain has gone through a huge shock. He needs some space to calm down. Could one of you take him next door? It's not good for him to look at his brother's body like this. Uh, of course. Leave it to me. Thank you both. I see the incense in the background. Mr. Sylvain, let's get you up. Here, take my hand. Nice and slow. <laughs> we'll take things from here. Just focus on getting some rest. Here, this way. <laughs> we have extra dude. Poor guy. He's like a shell of his former self. He may have made some bad decisions in life, but right now, Paimon can't help but feel sorry for him. Good person or bad, the death of a loved one is equally painful. All the moments he shared with his brother, every hardship and triumph they endured together, are now memories he has to carry alone. If Kyria really was behind this, then what exactly did he do to Lucian? Lucian can no longer speak, but the traces left behind by his death most certainly can. Traveler, I've got things covered here at the scene. I'll leave you to contact the sheriff. Why is Emily so fucking hot? Who would have thought? Yesterday's case is still up in the air, and how this happens. Miss Emily, I heard you're an experienced forensic doctor. Have you been able to discover anything? Oh, I'm not actually a forensic doctor. I just happen to have Thank some relative knowledge. Page. I did take a look, though. Judging by the temperature and rigidity of the body, it appears the time of death was sometime last night. I'd have to do a more thorough investigation to find out more. Then... Would you mind helping us investigate? I mean, to me, so I don't know. Before Unlucky, left, dude. Tainari said we could trust I mean, good for me. Like more ladies happen. for me. Of course. I appreciate your trust. Many of the traces... Not having to share will fade sounds like a win to me. So the sooner we investigate, the better. We'll help, too. We don't know much about dead bodies, but you can leave the other clues to us. Paimon says that so confidently. Why we fucking kill everybody we can find on the street? This bag is stuffed with clothes and other daily necessities. It's quite heavy. Pupils are dilated. Skin is flushed. Hmm. No overt external injuries or signs of a struggle. So I guess it's poisoning. Are you getting Emily? I do have Emily words. How's it going, buddy? Hope nice day, dude. The space inside the cabinet is divided into various compartments. It doesn't look like a person could hide in here. I mean, I just have to click on the incense and then I know it's it's Jova, but let's ignore that for now. I want to speak with the Naku weed. The corners are filled with flowers from different nations. The fragrance is incredibly strong.
door leads to the hallway. The lock is intact. There's no signs of damage. Door was probably locked last night. And the windows are shut tight too. Seems like the only way to get in would have been through Sylvain's room. Oh my god, do you love her? Did you pull for a weapon? No, I did not pull for a weapon. Um, I don't like uh, weapon design. So I just take the probably worst 5 star weapon for her. But at least it looks good for her, okay? And yes, I love her. Dude, she's amazing, man. I cannot complain. What do you mean? Dude, it, the weapon looks shit on her. Do you see how Emily's weapon on Shanna is beautiful? Uh, I did not know. Well, looks like we've investigated as much as we can. Let's go report back to Emily and Shiam. Dude, look at her, okay? That's how she looks like. Or even better. This is how she looks like. This is her weapon. This shit not matching, man. It looks visually extremely off, okay? First up. Second up, I don't have that many pulls and Natlan is coming, so there's no way I do that one. So, yeah, fuck that. Not gonna be happening. She has white on her. Yeah, but it's like 5%, my guy, okay? Also, it's not white. It's, it's a different color. It's like some crystal garbage. It's like... Not really white, it's more like in the bluish, okay? It's like too many blue accents and shit like that. Which she definitely does not have, okay? It looks off. What weapon do you think Mawika gonna have? I assume Claymore. She looks like Claymore. Um, also, it would fit the Himiko allegations, right? Because Simco usually uses claymores. Um, but I could see Saw too. It's not like the weapons red or anything. Yeah, well, sure, cool, but it just looks shit on her. It's how it is, my god. What do you want me to say? Do you want me to lie? Okay, this weapon is the most beautiful weapon out there. I hope you're happy, man. It's straight up not, okay? It doesn't matter how you see it, design-wise, this should be her weapon, okay? This looks amazing on her, okay? It's like absolutely perfectly fitting, everything is good about it. What's a Great Ball? A Great Ball um, is like a Pokeball but with a higher chance to catch. A Pokeball has a 30% chance to catch Pokemon, a Great Ball a 55% chance. Ultra Balls have a 80% chance. An idea. Oh, Not everyone has a great please, opinion, I guess. Yeah. You, for example, if you think a blue weapon looks better on her than a green weapon. My guy, what are you on about? You're getting it? No, probably not. Also, I don't care too much about it. So? It just, I want a higher chance to catch it because there's eventually a chance I would like to use it. Just opinion. Yeah. Dude, this guy's like, I don't know. He comes here, tries to shit talk me on, like, the most basic take, like everybody says her weapon looks shit on her. This guy comes here and says like, oh no, this is the best weapon. It looks perfect for her. This motherfucker thing is blue, man. She has nothing blue on her. It makes no sense. Like the only blue thing is the fucking crystal on her back. It's not fitting for her. That thing just does not fit. The multiple people that have non matching weapons. Yes. They are Sino Nilu, for example. You both got it? Yep. There are no signs of false entry. The only way in would have been through Sylvain's room. Paimon can show you. Here, it'd be something like this. It just makes no sense, man. Like, nobody says this weapon looks good on her. Like, you can say, okay, not everybody can have good taste. Well, yeah, but if you're on the 2% that likes her weapon on her, then you are the 2%, okay? You're the guy that has, like, the shit ass taste. I know I can acknowledge that the weapon is probably the best weapon for her. It's her signature after all. It doesn't mean that the weapon looks good on her. Could have been better, yeah. They are kind of fits, I guess. No, not really. It's like a big pedal. 
It doesn't really fit her too well as well. But entering through the room next door without alerting Sylvain. Wait, you don't think Sylvain could have been the one who? I mean, in theory, he should be the only one that would be possible to kill him. The thing is, I don't believe so. No, but his it's, reaction to the loss of his brother seems sense. genuine, and he doesn't have a motive. What does Mona have as a weapon? She doesn't have one. Um, she's one of the few standard banner characters that doesn't really have a weapon going for her. I mean, you could say Skyward Atlas. I think it's Atlas. Would be for her because it's a standard banner weapon. But the weapon is ass for her. So, yeah, I have no idea, man. Then it's very hard to say. What could happen last night? I know Sylvain is still in shock, but... Lost Prayer cannot be, witness? just for information, because that's Klee's uh, weapon. We already we know that one. statement. Because it was on um, Klee's banner every time. So whenever Klee has a weapon banner, you'll see that one on her. Yeah. I mean, it fits Klee as well much more, because Klee wants to have uptime, okay? Klee wants to stay on the field. So, yeah. Gives crit rate. And... Yeah. I don't know. Movement speed, I guess. Movement speed for a lolly character pretty good because they are always slower. So it makes sense to have these stats on her. I agree. Also, I've made some new discoveries, so we might as well head next door and If it's just the weapon's not good for her. I mean it's not good good. It's it's good, yes, but it's not good good. If that makes sense. Because guess what? You can get Novelette's weapon on her and you get more damage from her. I wish I could have gotten Jaws weapon instead of Skyward Spine. Probably a good idea, yeah. Skyward Spine is It's universal for like subdivis and shit like that. Stuff that wants ER. But overall it's not great, okay? But um primordial wing spear is just all over the place good. Okay? You can put it on basically any anything. It's always usable, okay? Like, I can put the shit on Dong Li, damage Dong Li, let's go baby, okay? I can put it on Hu Tao, I can put it on, uh, I guess her, not as great for her, obviously. I can put it on Alec Chino, I can put it on, I mean, that's, that's, no, let's not say that one. Not really for her too, but then again, she's, like, bought that it doesn't really count. You can put it on um, Sino. You can basically put it on fucking anybody, okay? That is like somewhat of a damage dealer. Or some sub DPSs, if that makes sense. I put it on Raiden. I had it on Raiden for a long time, actually. Rosara can use it extremely well. I think there are more. Shannon's weapon is good for Emily. By the way, if you have it, I don't. I would not pull for it anyways. I don't think it's that worth it to me. Why does your Chevrous have an HP weapon? Because she's scared of HP. Where is she? She quite literally is scared of HP. Um, yeah. Nearby Pyro and Electro characters in the party gain 1%. Increased attack for every 1,000 maximum HP Chevrous has for 30 seconds. Attack can up increase up to 40% this way. So 40,000 HP, not 4,000. 40,000 HP. A little bit my Chevrous has 44,000 HP. Did I jump scare you? You didn't jump scare me. Yeah, I bet I did. You you, no, you bet it wrong. You no, I don't make you sick. I don't have no weakness. But yeah, she is. She, she now only needs HP. Like HP here, HP helps her healing. First up, because this shit scales of HP. HP generation over time is based on her HP. She's not supposed to do damage. Um, she's overload focused, so you don't even need any stats besides EM, because overload doesn't scale. Okay, overload scales with HP, not HP. Um, with level, add EM, nothing else. 
so yeah what's the live schedule unless it's tuesday 2 30 pm officially um but i'm honest with you i'm always late <clears throat> like somewhere between 2 30 and let's say 4 p.m c-e-s-t so one hour in advance for you so 3 30 to 5 p.m at, at your time i usually start Can you help me add Monday to farm for weekly boss? Should you? Should you? Am I talents? What talents? Oh, um, for Mr. Nugget. Sylvain, I need you to tell me everything you and your brother did since yesterday <clears> afternoon. <throat> if you're on my Discord, which I don't think you are, anything strange? you can ask me on Discord every day if you want to. I can log in if I have time and uh, help you with shit. Tuesday, I'm not streaming usually, but I can help you there if you want to or if you need to. After Kyria attacked Edgar, my brother and I were incredibly careful. We returned to our rooms and decided to lock all the doors leading to the hallway. If you have questions, you can always ask shit there as well. There are quite a few people that be there. That way, if Wait and stay, I'm there. Wait and stay. Motion coming from the other room, we could help each other. Do you say I I'm always free? Sort of like, night. I'm not streaming that not a single I, noise. usually ever. Unless a character Walk comes out in Genshin or ZZZ, the then I'll do that on stream Lucian. often. Okay. Lucian was. But besides that, so, Tuesday I'm off. No movement from the room next door. No forced entry via Sylvain's room. But Wednesday I'm there. Of a yeah. Wednesday the I should be there. And no external injury on Lucian's body. What kind of cause of death are we dealing with here? I did notice a few things about the body. At least I tried to stream five days a week, okay? And his skin was if I can't, then Very I'm deeply sorry, but there's nothing I can do. Yesterday. Sometimes I just don't have there energy for it. traces of liquid that makes in his sense. Mouth or nose, so it's unlikely he was forced to ingest anything. The more plausible explanation is that he inhaled a substance without knowing. Considering I'm a one view Andy. I say that substance was likely a goose. Best I can do, man. <laughs> No, that's not possible. In inhaling, a goose won't kill you. In any way, it, it would have been for just one night. Just one night? No, that's not what I meant. Emily, you ran your tests, didn't you? Go on, tell everyone whether you found any poison. No. I didn't find any common toxins. <laughs> See? A goose is harmless. The market response proved that years ago. You have to go to rules and get that um, the role for it. may be true for most people, but not for everyone. I think you should be spawning Master. in rules as well. Edgar? You're up and about already? <coughs> Thanks to Emily, I'm out of the woods for now. Sylvain, and this no goes also for everybody in YouTube. Try to hide it. So in this the truth will always if you need help, I'm there. Okay. If you have Edgar, questions or anything, or want to talk about random ass shit, keep it a I'm secret there. for another ten or twenty years, do you think Kyria would just let us be? No, he would never give up. Not if he's doing all of this for Yelena. Yelena? <sighs> Who dead? That's Vijava's real name. Yelena wasn't a scholar from Sumeru. She was an exiled Fatus from Snezhnaya. Oh! The Fatus? Okay. The Fatui. <gasps> well, that means the elemental energy present in Auguste was... A delusion? Ah, so you've already detected it. <sighs> well, <laughs> Sylvain, looks like there's teasing. truly no reason to hide things now. Oh, I did it. Good shit, dude. The Auguste flower 
was created with the mutative and distorting power of a delusion. Uh, a delusion? I called it. I'm so smart, man. Delusions. I never <clears throat> would have thought a ghost was hiding this many secrets. So if it makes you sick, born of a delusion, it's kind of weird. August contained distorted elemental energy. A prolonged exposure over many years could have a harmful effect on the body. <laughs> That's enough. I can't you. fight the well, weekly boss. It's really hard, fair dude. At first, don't worry, my Alcino can do like that maybe. And the flower. I just need official in a Benny or some shit. How long the perfume mania was going to last back then? It didn't have any effect on ordinary people anyway. Every day we postponed going to market was another day of lost earning potential. So you decided poisoning people was worth the risk? <sighs> Listen, it's not like it was good for business. But of Benny and Trishel at the 90, perfect. For Benny's any, it doesn't matter his level. Was just I just need power resonance, the which doesn't exist in Corp, I believe. Mm, unless you were particularly um, sensitive to elemental energy, or had an entire bottle shoved down your throat like Edgar, you could use the product for decades and be completely fine. It may be true there are no records of a goose poisoning in Fontaine. But even if no one was acutely poisoned, willfully <clears throat> bringing a product to market despite explicit knowledge of its harmful effects is still a serious crime. She looks angry, but her voice just it doesn't give the vibes for it. I'm honest with you. The divine and noble Auguste originated from a delusion. If the truth came out, the market for your product will be destroyed. <laughs> That explains why you were so intent on keeping Yelena and Curia's involvement a secret all this time. Despite readily confessing After this part of dialogue, I can crimes. quickly show you that if I can see a cycle. Delusions, a ghost? If the Marishasay Phantom discovered the connection I saw somebody between showcasing the three, there would have been enough evidence to send you to the of for Holy life. shit, man. If I'd known coming to I would Sumeru, never build damage to any, it's just not back, nonsense to me. I would have been more than happy to stay there. I get the damage per screenshot because way, you Lucy hit one time pretty hard and that's about it. Oh, you will have any problems getting your Kyria, ultimate back up, which is up nowhere, very annoying. The minute my brother and I get out of prison, and you will not have damage sponge that just after. can enter the field and take a hit or two before. in case you suck at dodging. The fact that it's killing people all of a sudden must be his doing as well. So there's bad blood between you. What about Yelena's death? Was that a cover up too? A way to destroy evidence? I'll admit, we thought about it at one point. We took care to disguise the product circulating on the market, and no one was questioning Yelena's fake identity. But if the Mara Chaussee Phantom decided to look into the flower beds, it would have been the end. Yelena's ties to the Fatui, the role of the delusion, everything would have been exposed. The wreck got to my cat to the body. Plan in motion, Yelena beat us to it. She burned all her flower beds and threw herself into the fire as well. But, My god. But if her goal was to destroy evidence, there would have been no reason to do that to herself. Yeah, she could have just burned the flower beds and fled with her brother. I thought about it for a long time, but it wasn't until just now that I finally understood her reasoning. Everything she did, it was for her brother, Kyria. <sighs> One of the reasons they defected from the Fatui was the deterioration of Yelena's body due to her excessive use of a delusion. She didn't want her brother to follow in her footsteps after her death. That's fair. After arriving in Fontaine, Yelena continued using the delusion to cultivate the Auguste flower weakening her body even further. There were times when she couldn't even walk. So she couldn't flee with her brother because she was afraid of holding him back. 
If her true identity was exposed, she and her brother would face pressure from both Snezhnaya and Fontaine. The Auguste flower and Yelena's own corroded body both bore the mark of a delusion. There would have been no way to avoid suspicion. So, a pretty in fucking the end, sad story so far. she Not burnt it all to ash, including herself. With all the evidence erased, Kyria was free to take the Mora and <clears> run. <throat> so the wealth you earned from Auguste, it wasn't destroyed in the fire. Yelena gave it to her brother? Most likely. Before Yelena died, she said if anything happened to her, she was going to leave everything to her brother. We just didn't realize she meant our cut as well. That's why Lucian and I were searching for Kyria, to take back our Mora and the Auguste flower. We just didn't realize Kyria was baiting us the whole time. It was all a trap. <laughs> well, and now your bro's why dead. Rip over. Rest in peace, you won't be missed. Doesn't he know about Yelena's decision to sacrifice herself? I don't think he knew his sister was nearing death. Yelena always wore heavy makeup around him to I can conceal make her deteriorating appearance. She kept herself busy with work to keep out of sight. That way her brother wouldn't notice how she could barely walk. Then all I'll need to do is tell Kyria what really happened and then I'll give up on his revenge. Probably not. No. I'm not so sure. Even if he knew the truth, he'd still find someone to blame. He might think Yelena was forced into using a delusion to cultivate a ghost, or something like that. It's hard to pull yourself out of that kind of hatred, especially when you've been living in that headspace for so many years. Very true. Even if Yelena's death was her own choice, I wouldn't call myself innocent either. No, why not? You're a big thing, shitty. What are you talking about? Think about it, Sylvain. If we hadn't been in such a hurry to capitalize on the perfume mania all those years ago, do you think Yelena would have elected to take those risks? If we hadn't been so blinded by greed, so insistent on increasing the scale of the flower cultivation, do you think Yelena's health would have deteriorated as fast as it did? If we hadn't invited the Mara Chausse Phantom to our doorstep by breaking the law at every turn, Yelena could have survived. <laughs> she knew her limits. She knew her days were numbered. Maybe it was for her brother, but she was in it for the Mora just as much as us. We were just trying to earn a bit of Mora. And what, we deserve to die for that? Target me for being the mastermind, sure. But what about Lucian? He was just following my orders. Lucian's crime... Was it really so extreme that he had to pay for it with his life? <sighs> Probably not, but <sighs> Rebozo, I guess. The only person that can answer that question is a judge. Oh no, no that comes... <laughs> Fine. I've said my piece anyway. Drag me back to Fontaine to stand trial. I don't care. <sighs> Looking Three people again. from Fontaine, one from Snezhnaya, and a crime committed in Port Ormos. What a headache. Well, we can only wait until the Academia sends someone to deal with it. I'm guessing we'll have to contact Fontaine as well. In any case, we won't really know anything until tomorrow. Let's see if uh, Sino will appear. The exhibition. There's a good don't chance have at space least. in Port Ormos to detain anyone. Nah. Such a headache. Wait, I it was there. Collie signed hmm. kind of around the corner. The hotel Wouldn't could surprise me suffice. You could station a few officers to keep an eye on Sylvain and myself. Although with Sylvain's mental state and my physical one i don't think you need to worry about a jailbreak mr edgar are you saying if sylvain is to stand trial then i deserve the same fate 
A crime is a crime, accomplice or not. I'd just like to take care of a few things before I go. Uh, say goodbye to my plants and all that. As for Sylvain, I'm sure he That's also has some goodbyes of his own. <sighs> Would you be willing to grant that request, Sheriff? Well, all right. I'll talk to the Academia. No matter who you were in Fontaine or what crimes you committed, the man we grew to know in Sumeru proved himself to be a good person. Your request is granted. I'm so confused why Emily here is in Sumeru, even though she was supposed to be from Fontaine. Um, they said it at the start that she has um some business to do because of this august garbage. Because she sound inflicted towards to it. Um, and wants to know more about it. And then she got dragged into all this shit basically because her fucking teacher, which is the old fuck right here sitting, um, is the maker of Auguste and they're all getting fucking killed. I mean, theory, in theory, she could just say, yeah, no, I'm good. Bye bye. Um, but I don't think that would be, that, that doesn't sound you like, okay? happened tonight she's too much involved oh, you mean the possibility that kiria might try to finish what he started yeah all we know is that he uses a goose to poison people but we still have no idea how to catch him in the act if he targets sylvain or edgar again we might not be able to stab him that may be true but what if we can take advantage of his desperation Desperation. If we take advantage of this situation and lure him in on purpose, we might finally have the chance to talk to him. Master, no. That's too dangerous. Huh. <laughs> so, that's your plan. If Kyria learns we're being taken away tomorrow, his last chance to enact his revenge would be tonight. In other words, you want to use us as bait to capture him. Capture? Not necessarily. I just want to talk. What? Are you afraid of him? Afraid? <laughs> this is my only chance to make him pay for what he did. I'm okay. spending the rest of my now life in prison too? anyway. <clears throat> I can't just sit back and let him ride off into the sunset with our fortune. There's no way I'm letting him get away with it. Not after what he did to Lucian. <laughs> As for the danger, everyone else just needs to make preparations in advance to protect us. I already learned about the pull. I might work. lose a chance we to get Dong Li. I think he's leaving tomorrow. Five and one. Then I'll station some of my men around the hotel. Uh, he's if already we soon. Assistance as well, um, you don't have to worry too much about higher. it. I still Next have patch is a big patch, right? But so you get a new region. If you, if you explore that region, plan, I won't deny you my help. You should get like more than enough pulls to guarantee Dongli, okay? I'm saying. Usually if you get a new region, we get like hundred something pulls, okay? Just for existing. You think? I'm pretty damn sure, okay? If we take like, the, from exploration, okay, we get, like, 50 to 60 or some shit. At the end of the patch, we have, like, 80 to 90. And with Vulcan, that's, like, 110 or some garbage, probably. So, let's just assume you don't have Vulcan. You get, like, 90 pulls just from next patch, probably. Like, 80 to 90 pulls. That's a 5-star guaranteed. And then you need one more 5-star, okay? And in 4, not 4... In 5.1, we get another new area which you can explore in the first three weeks if he's in the first half. And then, then you know more. But the thing is, I would wait because next week, right? Next week, Friday, this is the... Let me check. The 16th. There will be a patch preview for 5.0, okay? Wait until then. Do If you can wait one week, wait that one week. Because we know what banners will happen next patch 
a dead day, okay? We know the five star character is guaranteed. No fucking dog shit leaks or any fucking thing. We know exactly what we have to aim for, okay? And what we can expect for the next patch is probably two. I'll also keep watch. Although I, forgot I think so the death myself and zero. There you go, buddy. Remain alone in our respective rooms. If On 5.0 release, I'll do 24 hour stream, room, by the way. He might decide to turn back. And besides, it's possible he's already transformed Auguste into a potent toxic gas. Uh, you mean if he doesn't see yeah. a way to get his hands on the two of you, he might get so desperate that he'll sorry. just start using Auguste um, on everybody? On 5.0 release, which is in... Guard. Even the innocent citizens in Port Ormos would all be in danger. It should be the... That's why everyone else needs 28th, to okay? To the at 28th. <laughs> That's in 18 days. I will do a 24-hour stream. Exploring Nathan. You're still recovering. You For information. Need to rest. <sighs> this old pack of bones doesn't bounce back like it used to. <sighs> I 24 hours. Yes, 24 I'll hours. I'll just have to leave the rest. Like a day. You. All right. We can figure out a plan to keep watch later. Right now, I think we split exactly. up and start spreading that information before it's now too late. Now you have late. to think how I feel, man. That's gonna be nightmare. <laughs> That's gonna be fuck nightmare. Like the start, I will basically rush the story, okay? Because I need to do it for. Um, unlocking dailies for that shit, okay? So, yeah. That's gonna be first, like, three to four hours, probably. And then I will just explore for the next 20 hours or some shit. Have you heard? Mr. Edgar's been detained. He's being taken away tomorrow. What? He's the one who helped craft all the fragrances for our shop. How do I rate streams? What's that? What do you mean? He taught my child how to make perfume. How could this happen? Um, rating is That's basically a thing that yet. I can do. Let's just wait and see what the court. If I, say. as a streamer, oh, go the and type in the chat rumors. slash no rate and then a channel hiding. name. Must have heard them by now. Well, let's head back to the hotel and take a break. We can Let see check what the other preparations are going while we're at it. I don't know what you mean, I don't see it here. I can get the point thing, I'm confused, man. Many ladies in the Port of Fontaine like to spray point. their perfume onto a delicate lace fan, allowing them to generate a pleasant fragrance with each flick of the wrist. It's quite an ingenious method. Okay, yeah, that's something that will probably never spawn. But what do you mean with raiding? Like, I can raid people if I end my stream, um, so everybody gets sent over to a different streamer. If the person is live, while I end my stream. It's a thing that Twitch has. Congrats on the ambipom. Emily! Sheriff Xian wants to talk to you and the Traveler about our plans for the Night Watch. Thank you, Kale. But first, here, I prepared a kind of herbal tea that helps calm the spirit. Why don't you have some? Oh, that's very kind of you, but I'm okay. Oh, These Pokemon names are so goofy as fuck them all. Especially the when we've got a long night ahead of us. Oh. I don't mean to put you on the spot, but I, I don't know the gadget. Notice that something seems to be on your mind. Uh, was was it that obvious? You seem very preoccupied with Kiria's revenge. If there's anything you want to talk about, I'm happy to listen. Oh, uh, I. Uh... Hey, Emily! Kale! Oh, are we interrupting something?
something? Pokemon heads are usually made no, after not at all. This will be um, what the Pokemon is anyway. supposed to be, okay? I've just been thinking. For example, Kira has the capacity to commit murder while remaining completely undetected. Charizard. Why didn't he target Char Sylvain along from with Lucian last night? Charcoal, for example. There was just a single door. And Zard from Lizard. Him. Burning Lizard. If his intention Lizard. was to target both brothers, then there was barely anything standing in his way. For Don't example. you think? When I accompanied Sylvain to his room after Lucian died and saw how distraught he was, or Mew I too. suddenly realized. Mew. Maybe Two. Kyria it's did that on purpose. It's the second Mew. Maybe it's he like, wanted Sylvain to experience you get the, point. the pain of losing a loved one before he completed his ultimate revenge. So did he attack Edgar as a warning then? To scare Sylvain and Lucy? Palm, I'm not too sure. Palm is probably the palm of a hand or some shit. Based on what and we've heard about Kyria, not too sure. that may very well be the case. Losing I would need to check it out or look it up. Ago. What has been going through his head? What has he been forced to endure? Whenever I get to thinking like that, Licky -licky. I just can't help but wonder. Yeah. If I were in his place, it basically would what I it be is. He's Licky hatred? and Licky. Like, do you know Lickiton? It's the evolution of it. It's just more licking. I guess. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't think like that. Not after everything he's done. But I just can't help it. There's nothing wrong with the way you're feeling. Empathy is a part of human nature. In all my years of cleaning up crime scenes, I've witnessed countless families mourn their loved ones. Dragapult, for example. Dragon and, Dragon and catapult. Through my mind. Which, obvious. Even but now. It's pretty cool. Some of them even try to stop me. Begging me not to erase but I still the last don't have remnants of their loved ones. Annoyingly. But getting swept up in those emotions will corrupt your judgment. Surround yourself with fragrance for too long and your sense of smell will become dull. Allow yourself to be consumed by your emotions so and fucking you lose today. the ability I to think rationally. So while you hold on to that sense of empathy, you also need to ask yourself... Do Sylvain and Lucian really deserve to die? How much did they truly know about the Fatui and the delusion? Did they force Yelena to make those decisions? Answering those questions requires a lot of time and evidence. While if I give you the actual Genshin character, will you sacrifice the character? Reach? Yes. I need to have that I've character, okay? Otherwise I can't kill it. Fontaine. When someone I've basically dies, jumped down a fuck cliff with them. amount of information can be inferred from the traces left behind at the scene. But and as the speaking, description says, that excludes fishing. It's not going to be happening. Unanswered. And the whole picture ever incomplete. Once you're consumed by hatred, it will become next to impossible to think about things that way. For someone like Kyria, I'm sure right and wrong lost all meaning a long time ago. You're right. You know, it's kind of funny. The fact that we can this one is getting used like almost never, and I have no idea why, because, because that's actually the most fun one, I would say. It's because we're fortunate. I would play Genshin, for example, or ZZ, and just kind of let loss. a character die or some shit. But Shit's it hilarious, also makes okay? Us perfectly positioned to stand on the outside and try to pull them back but from the But nobody uses that. Late. I don't know why. I understand Kyria's decision, but I still want to stop him. Master, Sylvain, and Kyria. What's a win your next year 50? <sighs> Basically, all deserve to survive. Um, you will just win your next 50 50. I, I will say that, and the unfortunate, and then, then it would totally happen, right? It's like 100% guaranteed. It's like basically cheat code. I'm just saying, the odds people that use it, I don't think they ever won the 50 50. Emily, <laughs> I'm just saying, but Traveler. Uh -huh. yeah, Edgar, you're here too. Oh, it's you two. Um, didn't you? your room to rest, Edgar? Is it really okay for you to be out and about like this? <laughs> a little exercise never hurt anyone. Besides, I don't have much time left in Sumeru. So I'd like to take care of my plants while I still can. We could do that for you, Master. No need. I've grown attached to these flowers. And this is my last chance to... Say goodbye. 
How do I check tomorrow. what Pokemon I need? I'll be happy to um, their care to If there is a Pokemon chat, you type exclamation mark Pokey check. In Important reason. And then you get information uh, from the bot. You oh, do I have to have Pokemon or not? Otherwise, That's right. you can just um, check the Pokedex the on area, the app. But we still I mean, right now there's no Pokemon. Guard next to the last Pokemon room. you caught it, so it will show nothing, okay? If it shows nothing, basically that means you have it. Around certain area, but still, anyone standing next to Sylvain's room. Exactly. After some discussion, we concluded that Sylvain has the highest risk of being attacked next. This is why, here, at the start, it makes no sense and to Pokey check even. Is sure to come Just catching shit is always good. Okay. That's why I you want can't really lose out of it. Next to Sylvain's room. So, are you if you get a Pokemon, it? it has low level, low IV or some shit, and it's like worth almost nothing. You can go to the app if you scroll down. I mean, on phone, I don't know if that is a thing. I don't know how it works there. Yeah. But you can just wonder trade them away for a new Pokemon that costs more and you can just sell that one. Or if it's a good one that you like to keep, you can just keep it. Sounds perfectly reasonable. Oh, I'll be glad to have your help tonight, Traveler. Enter Lucian Okay, do we get enemy time? For quite a long time. It's somewhat ah, enemy time. Not a peep. Has Kyria given up on his revenge? Hmm, guess we'll have to keep at it. By the way, I never asked, but what's the age <sighs> requirement Still to watch your stream? Unusual. I don't have one. Simon took a peek into the room next door and Sylvain's already sleeping. In theory, um, 13, because Twitch law, some shit, some shit, some shit, um, the TOS says you have to be 13 to have a Twitch account. So, I guess that. Um, I could make my stream 18 plus only, but I don't see a point in it. Because I just don't see a point in it, okay? Perhaps you just get that viewers and you don't face crime. consequences anyways. You can no, say a fuck right. like 20 times in a row. If all he wanted was for Sylvain Sylvain to be okay. convicted for his true crimes. He could have tipped off the Mara Chasse Phantom years ago. And he's already killed Lucian. There must be something we're missing. Unless I play a game that is 18 plus, um, I would need important. to change that, obviously. Maybe but then again, the game itself uh, is 18 plus. So some tea? That herbal blend from earlier was pretty tasty. Uh, it, it, it would be weird. We can't abandon our pose. There's nothing here. That we can use to make tea. You're right. Um, That's not even true. There are beans of flowers around. Then, like, uh, like looking at the flowers. Oh, there's a glaze lily here. Paimon didn't notice it earlier. There's knuckweed as well. Because they didn't bloom during the day. Flowers, glaze lilies, incense. <gasps> oh no! Sylvain's room, quick! Wait, what? I already know. I, I understood how it works. Um, without knowing what's going to be happening now, I can already tell you how it works. Um, there's poison inside the glaze lilies, and only if it's night they go open, so hey, they can be consumed, you and you can poison was the again people around you. Night. It was the older of the Merchant Brothers, right? Yeah, I think his name was uh, Sylvain. Poor I've seen that in, in Detective Con. First it was Mr. Before Edgar, it, it's 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 a good Lucian, one. Listen up, everyone. Nice reference. This is an act of crime yeah, scene. Scene. Please, no loitering. It's been three days and they haven't even caught a glimpse of the guy. 
What is going on? Do you think it could be the work of an evil spirit? Evil spirit my ass, that's not how it works. I mean, how do you get away with something like that with so many people watching? I think it's Edgar. Keep it moving, everyone. No loitering. Like, Edgar makes more sense. I'll go with not kill his brother. Edgar's there. Edgar has the possibilities for it. Edgar wants really, really hard to care about his flowers. So, Edgar <laughs> must be the culprit. And he's the only one that I got to see the next. bad guy. So, it must be him. <sighs> no, you can't be you the next. You don't know that. Kyria already attacked you once, and you survived. Yeah, that makes Perhaps sense. he doesn't consider your crime to be worthy of death. Nah, you were the, the only sense. reason I managed to survive, Emily. Uh, I never did thank you for that, did I? Even if I wasn't there, Tai Nari was also in the vicinity. He would have been able to help. Is that so? I suppose I'm a very fortunate person then. I have exceptional students, caring friends, and the respect of my peers. If it is indeed my time to go, then I'll die without regrets. But Kyria has nothing. Yelena is gone. Now, his enemies are too. It really makes you wonder if there's even a reason to keep on living. If you really want an answer, I suppose you'll have to ask Kyria like himself me. once we finally catch him. Yeah, you can look, look uh, well, for a long time. I hope Makes no it sense. All goes well. Nobody ever saw him. He's Emily, the only person who saw him. There's something it's else I'd like to ask of you. With everything that's happened, holding the exhibition is off the table now. <laughs> but so many only flowers sense. were transported Maybe here for the show. The Some of them thousands of miles away from their homeland. I can't let them wither away with no one to care for them. Whether Kyria gets to me first, or I'm sent back to Fontaine to stand the trial. Gigalith. I won't be around to look after them. I, I know definitely. it's a lot to ask, but could I entrust them to your care? Of course, Master. Really? Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Now I truly have nothing to worry about. Sheriff Sham still has some questions for me, so I've got to go. Uh, go ahead. Best not to keep him waiting. He can be quite uh, impatient. Hmm. I'm sorry, Master. It's only the only thing that makes sense. I still somewhat convinced. Oh, not the wrong either. Paimon sure hopes Emily's plan will go well. Oh, but Kali still looks quite worried. Uh, let's go talk to her. Hello, Kali. Emily still isn't back. I hope she didn't run into any trouble. I'm sure she prepared to handle anything that might come her way. Yeah, that's true. Traveler, I had my men start spreading the information you requested. The crowd is gone now too, but I have to admit, I'm not really sure what's going on. After that's listening to Emily's plan, I started getting the materials together and arranging personnel. I barely had a second to spare last night. To be honest, I'm still not sure how the crime was committed that night. It's pretty simple, actually. Hmm. The key clue was right in front of us the entire time! The glaze release. Well, the flowers itself. I feel like you've been waiting to say that for a while. <laughs> Let's go! We'll show you where the culprit hit a goose! Thank you. 
Yes, this is it. The glaze lily, huh? I think I've heard of it before. It's a flower from Liu, right? <clears throat> well, did you know? It only blooms at night. Emily, you're back! Exactly as expected. A flower that only blooms at night. Ah, like the Nilipala lotus. Yep. Exactly. Although, the Nilipala lotus wouldn't be a good substitute in this scenario. When it's closed, the gaps between the petals are too large. That's why Kyria chose the glaze lily as his mechanism. He would start by preparing an agu <laughs> sample. Put it into the flower pot. No. Um. Daub it on the outside of the petals. No. Soak the area around the petals. Probably yeah. It sounds more right. There's a sticky substance on the edge of the flower petals. It's one I recognize. Sealed it inside the petals. Correct. If you stick the petals together with slime condensate, then in the daytime, the glaze lily would act almost like a hidden container. That's right. He I don't need to ask more. He applied a diluted form of slime condensate to the petals to stick them together and enclosed a sample of a goose in the center. <clears throat> that way, the goose would remain trapped inside during the daytime unable to seep between the petals and evaporate into the air. This also allowed the culprit to plant the poison well in advance while his targets remained oblivious. However, the diluted slime condensate wouldn't be viscous enough to prevent the petals of the glaze lily from opening at night. So by nightfall, the flower would bloom, thereby forcing the target to inhale the goose trapped inside. And Kyria could execute his revenge without having to step foot inside the room during the night. By the next morning, the sample of a goose would have nearly fully evaporated. The glaze lily would have already closed its petals and any lingering odor would be concealed by the fragrance of the other flowers in the room. Wait a second. You're telling me this version of a goose is so toxic, inhaling the minute amount trapped inside a flower is enough to kill a grown man? And how did Edgar even survive ingesting a whole bottle of the stuff? Because he didn't. That's because a goose is just as dangerous now as it was all those years ago. The level of toxicity has never changed. Only a small subset of people are truly at risk. Ah, uh, you mean people who are sensitive to elemental energy. So it's just some sort of happy coincidence that Sylvain and Lucian are allergic to the stuff? That can't be right. They were involved in the operation all those years ago. If the stuff gave them a bad reaction, they would have known from the very start. I wouldn't use the word allergic, necessarily. It's more like they're susceptible to its effects. But that distinction isn't important right now. You can think of it this way. It's not that Sylvain and Lucian are innately sensitive to elemental energy, but that Kyria found a way to ensure that they would be. Prime more let's see. The incense in the room. Probably, yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. In Fontaine, I experienced how drinking primordial seawater made me more attuned with the element of hydro. <clears throat> but that substance would be hard to get around here. The incense in the room. The incense I smelled earlier seemed familiar. Thinking back on it, I'm almost certain it was the scent of Spirit Borneo. In Sumeru, scholars use Spirit Borneo to aid meditation and stimulate their connection to the Dendro Archon. Nakuweed! Alchemically produced essential oils, the primordial seawater that caused unrest in Fontaine not too long ago. All of those are substances that can heighten your sensitivity to elemental energy. And Kia chose a spirit bonio. That stuff gave us a lot of trouble when we first came to Sumeru. Ah, oh, yes. I definitely remember that. Yeah, that was fucking hilarious. In Sumeru, it's not uncommon to use <clears throat> incense indoors, so its presence wouldn't arouse suspicion. The flowers in the room it could did to also me? serve to mask the scent. Flowers are pretty important to this plan, huh? 
the glazed lily is native to Liwa. It would be completely unnatural to have one here in Sumeru if it weren't for the exhibition. What a coincidence. Yeah, it's not Actually, a coincidence. Actually, it's not a coincidence at all. It was all a meticulously designed trip. No wonder he was willing to pay a small fortune to rent out the hotel. Yep. He probably used the more Yelena left him, don't you think? That money was supposed to set him free. But in the end, it was just a tool for his revenge. There's a saying among forensic <laughs> doctors in Fontaine. Nope. Did I jump scare Every you? step you take me. leaves a mark. But up until this sick. point, you we haven't been able sick. to detect any know. trace of Kira's activities. That's not because he was coming and going undetected, or because he's some kind of evil spirit, but because he's been disguised How did you know? as someone else this entire time. I always know. I know everything. The real murder, murder is that such an intricate mechanism out of a glaze lily, setting up the spirit Borneo in advance, and arranging for Sylvain and Lucian to stay at the hotel. It all points to one person. The expert in charge of the entire exhibition. The real murderer? Kyria and Edgar are one and the same. <clears throat> wow, shocker. But Kyria was only in his teens back then. He wouldn't even be 40 years old by now. Edgar's lived here for so many years. He just Even took the identity of Kyria, but going that long without giving anything away, not. it would be impossible. The bad news, Sheriff. Mr. Edgar was attacked. He didn't. What? A dark shadow-like figure just ran out of his room. It was giving off a really ominous aura. It it was a ghost. But before we could even react, the figure up and disappeared like some sort of ghost or something. By the time we got a look inside the room, Mr. Edgar was gone. Do you think Kyria kidnapped him? I need you to think very carefully about this. Are you certain that figure wasn't Edgar himself? Uh, I mean, Mr. Edgar was so frail. I don't see how he could have moved that fast. Exactly. It would seem Master decided got to ass. tap into an ill-advised source of power. What? But that's so dangerous with the condition he's in. Uh, it's... Suicide. But why? Why would he do that? He's already accomplished his revenge. Not really. No. If his aim was to target everyone who had a hand in Yelena's death, then he if himself. He was Sylvain alive yesterday, not out of a desire to <clears throat> see him suffer, <clears throat> but to confirm the truth about why Yelena chose to die. Then there's what does still the one hydrate button do? I drink water. That's it. Quite simple, I know. The shadow-like figure ran in the direction of the elevator, and my partner immediately chased after them. We should hurry before they're forced to confront each other. Where in the world did he go? Uh, let's ask the merchants nearby. This old man saw fucking nothing. A, a shadow-like figure with an ominous aura. Sorry, I didn't see anything. Told you. I was busy taking inventory. On the other side, they will see also nothing, so that means he is gone in this direction. No mind, he's a coward already. A ghost! It's a ghost! It's all right. Please calm down and take a what deep breath. What does we? Yeah, most Can critical you mean. It saw? just uh, sounded. Good. I saw a black shadow. It ran right past me. It's like the jump scare, but. A different one from the same person. How could something like that happen in broad daylight? It's a pretty famous clip. You should probably know it. Nice. Everybody's scared of ghosts here. Be out of port 
be hardly any witnesses. It's all right. I can detect a faint whiff of the scent from here. I would say he passed by this be nice to me, not too long ago. Yes. Hmm. Nobody uses that as way. well. Please Only Dawn, if he's here. And that mostly um, to piss me off because I have no idea what to tell, tell him at this point. Like he used it like 50 times already or some shit. That shit. The scent is getting stronger. This must be the place. There we go. I need Dendro and Pyro. Oh, what a fucking shocker. You could have seen that one coming. I hope they let me use my Emily and not the fake Emily. The fake Emily would piss me off. Oh. Did he get kidnapped? Are you all right? Were were you attacked? Uh, no, no, I'm all right. I was just chasing after that figure, and then all of a sudden, I didn't feel so hot. Let me take a look. The air definitely feels heavy. It smells nice, but for some reason, it's hard to breathe. This feeling, I've encountered it before. Withering? Everything looks nah. alright. It was probably just the stress of the chase, combined with the impact of the environment. A bit of rest would do you some good. I can't rest. Mr. Edgar is still in there. He taught my sister how to make perfume. He's a good man. I can't just abandon him to die by curious hand. He doesn't know. You need to he calm does. down and listen to me. Edgar is a Doesn't choose actor. character for me to play go for the whole stream but a limited time. How is that um, possible? I thought you I said Kyria was don't in know. It should say Mr. how long Edgar it is works for. If it doesn't say for how long, then it's the entire decades team older. That doesn't seem possible. That's precisely why he had to resort to extraordinary measures to Let age me find himself. It. Usually, if you click on one of these. Um, it tells you some information like um, how long or some shit it works. I mean, it says today. Character for me to choose to play today. Genshin character, obviously, my account, yes. I mean, it says today. So, today is today. That's precisely why he had to resort to extraordinary measures to age himself. Kyria used a delusion to bring back the Auguste flower, corroding his body in the process, just like his older sister. No, he couldn't have. Mr. Edgar has been in Port Ormost for years. If someone started impersonating him all of a sudden, we would have noticed. I'm gonna and save it for the fall stream. Do that, buddy. Before he ever set foot in Sumeru, I, uh, I've yet to confirm it, but I suspect Kyria killed the real Edgar and Fontaine not long after his release from prison. While Edgar was incarcerated, Kyria started making preparations to replace him, including forcefully aging his body, studying perfumery, and planning the real Edgar's demise. The new Edgar then decided to relocate to Sumeru. That's a white theory. Out of an innocuous desire to let go of the past. He even left perfume making in favor of mentoring students. But these decisions were all for a specific purpose. The need to distance himself from anyone who might see through the facade. And Sumeru fit the, the missing Pokemon is only the Pokemon I'm missing. No one around to question his identity. That has nothing to do all with your do is grow a beard, um, Pokemon that I'm missing. Glasses, Make a few minor alterations to his appearance, and that's a comment I did for myself exactly to check what I'm missing. Edgar, a perfumer from Fontaine. As the years went by, he removed his disguise little by little 
and continued to refine his skills. Keep in mind, they're like 900-something Pokemon. Process. I'm pretty damn One sure you no don't him would notice anything need to worry too much about it, okay? That explains why Sylvain said he barely recognized Edgar back at the hospital. Like, you have maybe 10 to 15 he right now. himself decades beyond his years just so he could accomplish his revenge. Is that even worth it? I... I need to find Mr. Edgar. He's not that kind of person. He can't be. <coughs> what you really need is to get out of here and rest. No, I... I can keep going. Wait. This environment is likely being influenced by the delusion. Any discomfort, no matter how slight, should not be treated lightly. I know how to relieve your symptoms, Mr. Ooze. Please come with me and rest. I'm sure Kyria... No, Edgar wouldn't want any more innocent people implicated in all this. Kale's right. Rebecca, I'm the gonna traveler and I will take things from, him. PC should you. from our brief exposure to a goose. That, it would seem the substance has little effect on us. This leads me to believe those blessed with a vision or capable of wielding elemental power are more resistant to the effects of abnormal elemental energy. In other words, this environment doesn't pose as much of a risk to us. Actually, now that I think about it, this stronghold likely has multiple points of entry. If the target were to escape from a different point of entry, that might allow him to evade capture. I hate to trouble you, but we need people to survey the perimeter. I... <sighs> Thanks. Hear that? We're heading out. There's work to be done. Oh, it's like ooh, feet. Yes, I am. And start gathering reinforcements. I'm 180. Three <sighs> roughly. Okay. Traveler. I got Emily, measured at Paimon, evening. Please be careful. After like doing a fuck ton of things, Persons and I was 182. So I should be no 183. What do when there's no reason to move forward. Don't worry. Because guess what? This isn't at him. Not for us. The start of the day, you're taller than in the end of the day. Fun fact. We're not going to let a goose kill anyone else. It's time for the mythos to fade into obscurity. Hey, let's see. <clears throat> Monsters. Oh boy. Perhaps they were attracted here by the increased level of elemental energy. Yeah, that weapon doesn't fit her. Like, I don't care what you say, but this shit does not fit her, okay? Okay, she has that little bell here on, the, on her titties. Uh, but besides that, nothing is fitting to her, man. It's... It doesn't fit her. I'm sorry, dude. I'd rather take mine. Coming to be. I've never seen these seeds Hydra, before. Sure. They must also have been created with the power of a delusion. The water. Mm, it seems to be avoiding us, and there's no other way forward. Perhaps we could try luring it to the edge of the cliff. There you go, buddy. What the fuck do you want? Oh. Okay, never mind. <clears throat> okay. Interesting puzzle. Also, that ground is glowing. Then you know, Paimon, using a delusion comes at a cost, not just time, 
with the time you have left to live. But why would Kyria need this many a goose flowers? He only needed a few bottles of a goose to carry out his plan, right? Hmm. Perhaps hatred wasn't the only emotion fueling his obsession with a goose. Not long ago, he told me he didn't want all the flowers transported to Sameru to wither away in a foreign land. But Kyria betrayed Snezhnaya, abandoned Fontaine, and lived his entire life in Sumeru under the guise of someone else. For someone with nowhere to call home, perhaps dying among a bed of a goose flowers just like his sister is the best homecoming he could ask for. We want to burn the shit down and burn himself to fucking chips or some shit. Let's burn all this shit. Speaking of burning. Perfect. Something I missed. I definitely was not here. I don't think there was a chest I missed. Wait. It's the wrong wings. Oh my fucking god. They even changed it. Anyways, let me check something. It's C3, right? Yeah. By the way, apparently Emily has very fucking crazy cons, okay? They are supposed to be extremely good. Let's get this. Let's get extract. This will brighten up the place. Why is it gadget button Y? Easier to hit. Uh, because they used um, at the start the American format, which is um, Q W E R T Y, and since I'm German, it's Z. Okay. So, Z would be next to T, which would be fucking far away, okay? Which is un... un... I hate it to press, okay? So, pressing Y is just easier because it's on the bottom of my mouse. And that mouse, but, uh, uh, my keyboard. My Z is below A and S. Yes, for me that's why. The different formats of keyboards, and in Germany we use Quartz and not Querti, which is some of the big defi. Okay. And games tend to have stuff put on Z and just accept it, like that. Genshun is like that as well. The, the thing is Z is so on a shit position that I cannot press it. It's like... Yeah, it's uncomfortable, let's just say it like that. So it's really wrong. I was following 10k people and I unfollowed most of them two days. Holy shit, man. I could never. Did they catch up that fast? 
<clears throat> no. I'm following. And my strength is just. 200 waiting. something, I believe. No, less than that, probably. I have no idea. <clears throat> His strength is waning. <clears throat> it's the new But it doesn't matter. This is far enough. <clears throat> I'm putting five. No, holy shit, man. But for some reason, it says 845. Okay, that's weird. Garden of a goose flowers. But it's not mine. It's the one that was set on fire all those years ago in Fontaine. Yelena? Yelena! This was he's holding. I tried to hide it from me, but I. I always understood. The reason why you continue to use the delusion. The reason why you set your garden on fire. It was all because of me. I shouldn't have listened to you that day. I shouldn't have taken the mora and ran. But by the time I realized something wasn't right, there was nothing left. The flowers were gone. And so were you. I know I'm almost 20 years old. Ilana? Yeah, I should have gone looking for you earlier. I should have. That's the first thing I read. I was like confused as shit. Okay, when it came out, it was like, huh? Yelena? Uh. Yelena! No! Don't leave me! Please! Yelena! <sighs> Emily, I, I'm alive. No, that's not possible. I saw her, Helena. We were together. That was an illusion, likely brought about by the residual toxin in your body coupled with the pollen in the air, neither of which are fatal. No. The amount of August I drank, it should have been enough. I'm sorry to say this, but that was a fake. A fake? But uh, how? We started making the preparations last night with one goal in mind. To create a perfect accord. It's great forward. The accord is the, the basis, basis of perfume making. making. The, the product, product in its, its most primitive form. Ambergris mixed with cedar wood, rounded out with a base note of agar wood. This is the scent of leather. Oh shit! Exactly. We're unable to extract a scent of oils from leather, but by combining other raw materials, what does across mean that you don't essence. have it? That is the purpose of an accord. Does that mean you can recreate any scent in the whole world? I see thing. <laughs> I'm afraid not. Certain fragrances in this world. Honestly, short hair fits her a lot better than eye. long hair. I'm happy she has short hair now. Quality is what draws people in. But she's adorable, I agree. Their obsessions. If I wear a goose to the ball, I'll also be one of a kind. Our competitor already got their hands on it. Hurry, Molly. It doesn't matter how much it costs. I have to buy something better, mate. This fragrance will be one of a kind, no more. Myths can be deconstructed, miracles can be recreated. All it takes is skill, experience, limitless exploration, and a little patience. The only thing left is determining where the real Auguste is hidden. Pretending to be attacked means he's not free to move around. A goose must be hidden within reach. Herman took a peek through the window earlier and his house was packed with flowers. The curator commissioned a flower pot from Kisharawar, capable of retaining heat and moisture. Perfumes are as beautiful as flowers and equally as delicate. When stored, you must take care to control the temperature and keep them away from direct sunlight. Did you get all that, Emily? Mm -hmm. 
I got it. not he's still alive probably yes master so you switched the bottles of august that was an amazing and animation man i really like it Sylvain's death i have 6.3 thousand had been completed was the easiest nice, way you, to get you to i have the guard. impossible even if you I would say you will probably not. it's probably two or three or some shit There's no i don't know you could have made an accord if August was so easy to replicate, Yelena wouldn't have. It was a combination of rainbow roses, glaze lilies, and Cecilia's. Those ingredients would have conflicted with each other if you tried to combine them in the past. But recently, we found a way for them to work together. I would have daily on TikTok as well, so roses, okay, that's fair then. Glaze lilies, I don't. And Cecilia's. A goose was created over I know that the market is ago. a lot on TikTok, this but time, people never stopped analyzing I'm not a TikTok it, fan, I'm honest with you. To it. I prefer brothers, but it's kind of boring. Day by day. We found better ways I mean, I to saw lately quite a bit oils, of people actually play that. Or we'll talk about it. To combine fragrances there was something on Twitter as well about it. I don't remember what it was. It untouchable almost 20 years ago, but now it's time for it to become a thing of the past. The past. So at least the game has somewhat of You've an upgrade, been working I as a perfumer believe. For all I could these be wrong. Years. You should have always known that it is possible to make an accord, even if only in theory. But the meaning you assigned to a goose became so inflated, you allowed yourself to get lost in it. Just like the Dude, perfume my... mania oh, you cooked with her story all those years ago. You believed in its seems like crazy good. and grandeur. You believed it was entirely one of a kind. And in the process, you forgot that it was a bottle of perfume. Nothing your obsession more. with the goose is also what allowed us to predict how you intended your plan to end and to make preparations in advance. We just didn't expect it to happen so fast. Or that you would act like a delusion. <laughs> well. You hit the nail on the head now, didn't you? So, Sylvain isn't dead. Since you've been preparing your accord since last night, I assume you've also figured out my method then. I mean, the method was the easy. Of Sylvain's death, the method I, I got like very quickly. The, the moment I saw the glaze lilies, I had an it idea. Was all an act you put on with the sheriff? Yes. If we hadn't, you might have resorted to the delusion out of desperation or continued to so use God, your spirit I hate those and a goose combination like, to wreak havoc. I'm from... Who knows? You shouldn't mess with me. Maybe I would have just... Like, there's nobody gives... That is so true, man. There. I know if you had things your way, you would carry the truth of Edgar's demise and the secrets like, of this garden to the grave. How well, would I'm that sorry, matter Master. where the fuck you're from, okay? I don't okay? want to see any more death. Like, it doesn't change shit for me. Sylvain only inhaled a small People feel like, acid. yeah, it's important or anything, but no, nobody gives a shit. All the crimes he concealed back then will be exposed Such a long in the court of law for everyone like that. to see. Or no, and for all it, yeah. his secrets will be revealed. The same goes for you as well. Is that so? Well, I suppose I'll be spending the rest of my Like, nobody gives a fuck from, from Germany, from well, he accepted Albania. China, I don't. Nobody gives a fuck, okay? I don't like, feel the need to nothing. justify my actions. I can, Nor I can mess you I with you. It doesn't matter where the fuck you are. For them, it's your problem, I not mine. I did what I set out to do. I may have lost in the end, but it was my choice every step of the way. And if I could do it all over again. <laughs> but people do that inside the city but as well. No going like, back. yeah, I'm from this district. You should better not mess with me. I'm like, bro, bro, what? I'll lead the way. Stick close. Hurry up. 
can't let Edgar die. Like nothing will change. Looks like I'm almost out of time. Although, I do have one final question, Emily. Of course, Master. The combination yeah, fucking hot you man. used to make your accord. How did you figure it out? The scent of a goose is complex and varied, yet the main ingredient consists of a single variety said, and of flour. Can move. Like, so, okay. as I was analyzing the sample the yesterday, I got to thinking, what if the scent of the goose flower was with... already imbued with that like, complexity the during the its fuck cultivation? You mean me? Yeah, You're saying, makes no sense. Yelena designed <clears throat> August to have the scent of multiple flowers. Rainbow roses, glaze lilies, Cecilia's. The perfumers of the past knew that if you combine the best thing you can do is directly, just um yeah do you know where I am from? And if he's like where are you from? Then say, you have to if just you say cultivate a new yeah see flower species nobody cares. That intrinsically carries the unique features of those three scents. Fuck you. <laughs> you can bypass that issue entirely. It goes without saying. Nothing can do. Time, this idea was a stroke of genius. <clears throat> Rainbow <clears throat> roses, glaze lilies, like, no English. and Cecilia's. <laughs> Most really if you're from America, if you're from Canada, you I don't give a fuck. Like, I shit talk you, okay? It doesn't matter if you're from France, if you're Russia, I don't give a fuck. I, I can shit talk you if I want to, okay? I, I can have my opinion. If you have a problem with that opinion, it sucks for you, I guess. Not long after that, the Aramites rush over. Here, yeah, accept his fate without saying a word. Oh shit. Mm. And thus all the turmoil caused by a goose finally comes to an end. A few weeks later you receive a letter from Emily inviting you to catch up and contain. Good shit. Did you ever swipe in Genshin? Yes. If you talk about swiping like Did top you know? up, I had to Emily's because I like Chino weapon. <laughs> right, I heard about that. I lost. I think it's called Yelena. The thirty-seven point five percent chance twice to first grade magic. Seems like everyone in Fontaine is talking about the new. This is why I had to spend. I think it was thirty bucks. I was shit. hoping to release and it I still hate such it. a fuss, but. The news spread way faster. But than usually I, I get Belkan and I just hope it won't become the if I need to battle pass, okay. Myth, but battle pass I only had I think seven or eight. So at best I would get two more battle passes. For the weapons. Just for collection reasons. Not for our refinements or anything for that. But yeah, I'm a Belkan only player basically. But yeah, in, in three years I had to use that top up shit one time and it pissed me off. But I got rewarded for it because I got Alexinus weapon and with the 10 coins I got from Alexinus weapon, I got Alexinus C1. I didn't spend a penny in this game but I kinda want to, so like a dolphin. I would say Velcan and play every day and you're good, okay? Velcan is way too good. Missing out on Velcan, that that hurts, okay? That, that really hurts. Did you use the Accord? From back in Sumeru. I did, although I made a few modifications to the formula to make the scent more pleasant and long-lasting. I actually brought a few samples with me today. I hope they're to your liking. Also, I was hoping you could try out the fragrance before I officially release it and tell me your thoughts. Of course! A good sense of taste and sense of smell go hand in hand, you know? That's a gadget, you yeah, know. Oh god, Paimon spawning out of nowhere. Oh, it smells great! I'm not sure that's the kind of feedback she had in mind. <laughs> it's alright. All feedback is worth considering. Besides, when it comes it just to perfume, make you shine. commenting oh my God. on whether it smells good is the most straightforward assessment you can ask for. There doesn't always have to be a deeper meaning. Speaking of deeper meanings, Kira's final question. Right! Do those flowers have some Special meaning? Hearing their names seemed to have an effect on him. Hmm, if I had to guess, 
I'd say it probably has something to do with the language of flowers. The language of flowers? Oh, we've heard of that before. Paimon remembers hearing something like, uh, the Cecilia represents the true feelings of the prodigal son? What each flower is said to represent varies by person and across different moments in history. The same is true for the flowers that make up the scent of a goose. After returning to Fontaine, I did some research, and it turns out the meanings of those three flowers can be reassembled to form a single phrase. <clears throat> Forget the past and keep on living. Perhaps that's the legacy Yelena always intended, not the nobility and grandeur most people associate with the goose. That's pretty fucked up. I forgot about the Imaginarium theater shit, whatever. You still have 20 days, it's all good man. Don't worry about it. Or maybe that's what you hoped for a brother. You think Kyria knew about that? I paid him a visit before I'll do my theater once found, Dawn gets online, whenever the fuck that will be. And put it on YouTube. Can you help me with no, bounties? Should you? Shouldn't mean anything by it After the story. That was his response. Yelena is gone. We'll never know what she was thinking. We can look for meaning all we want, but it'll never be anything but conjecture. Even if that is what she was trying to say, I would never be able to forget her. Avenging her death? That was the meaning I chose for my life. Kyria cultivated his revenge like a flower. He was committed to making it bloom, even if, in the end, it didn't bear the fruit he was hoping for. In any case, he did want me to pass along his thanks. Thank you for saving my life, for giving me the chance to learn that a goose could have carried a very different meaning. Love and hatred are a privilege of the living. When someone dies, their thoughts, feelings, and intentions die with them. In that sense, what a goose truly represents in the language of flowers will forever remain a mystery. But even if it's only a conjecture, I would like to believe my own interpretation. The meaning we give to flowers, the symbolism we assign to our perfumes, they're constantly twisted and exploited in our imperfect world. And yet, at the very outset, they're born from the simplest and most beautiful desires we hold in our heart. The story was fucking amazing, man. I like it a lot. Yelena. Let's use the shit. Ooh, I'm shiny. Amazing. Top tier. We need more gadgets like that. That's like peak gadgets, okay?